Welcome to the Pub Sports Radio NHL Play of the Day for Friday, March the 5th. Ian Cameron with you. We got the job done. A winner with the Play of the Day in the NHL. Last night, the Florida Panthers, minus 130 over the Nashville Predators. They get the victory. We'll see if we can give you another winner tonight. We're going to go to the St. Louis Blues, taking on the Los Angeles Kings. Uh, We've got the Blues right now around a minus 125 to minus 130 road favorite. Total, five and a half in this game. And we talked, we, I took a road favorite in this price range last night, and I'm doing the same thing here tonight in this game. I like the St. Louis Blues side here, minus 130. A couple of reasons I like St. Louis. One, they're playing better again. Uh, they went through a little bit of a tough uh, losing skid. They had lost three of four games uh, last week, or actually late last month and the latter part of February. Uh, but since then, they bounced back with three straight wins entering tonight. That wild 7-6 to six win against San Jose. St. Louis had scored one goal in their two previous games combined. Both of them losses to this LA Kings team at home before that outburst of seven goals to beat the San Jose Sharks 7-6. Uh, to six. And they follow that up with two more victories against the Anaheim Ducks, 5-4 and 3-2. And the Blues have found some offense again. Zach Sanford, Ryan O'Reilly, Jordan Cairo, uh, among Braden Shen. Uh, these are the guys that have been definitely finding their footing offensively, producing, uh, scoring goals, uh, making an impact at that end of the ice for the St. Louis Blues. They lost twice in a row at home to the Los Angeles Kings. So I think you're going to get a very ultra-focused, fired-up and motivated Kings uh, Blues team uh, to face this L.A. Kings team once again. L.A. on the other side of the equation. I talked about how they beat St. Louis twice. Back-to-back games in St. Louis, but since then they haven't won. Uh, they've lost three in a row, uh, two games to Minnesota, and then they lose at home three to two uh, to the Arizona Coyotes in their last game. And I don't like that they've been on this uh, situation where they've been in a lot of travel. Uh, this LA Kings team, it, it's uh, you know they had a lot of road games at Arizona, at St. Louis, at Minnesota. You came back home the other night. Uh, they played, uh, they got a lot of shots and a lot of chances, but. They couldn't finish those chances necessarily. Uh, They'll be facing Vili Husso, uh, the number two goalie for the uh, St. Louis Blues, and got off to a bit of a slow start, but he has played a little bit better uh, in recent starts, in recent games, where he's appeared in between the pipes for the St. Louis Blues. Good chance you get Jonathan Quick potentially in net for the Kings. Uh, It's the second. It's the first of a back-to-back for both of these teams uh, against one another. And Jonathan Quick, his track, his record this year, not great. Five and six, 2.87 goals against, 900 save percentage. Numbers that aren't necessarily great uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I think with St. Louis losing the two games at home to the LA Kings, you see them bounce back here with a much better game. They've won three in a row. They've turned it around. They're in better form. And I think you'll see them pick up the victory here tonight in this game against the LA Kings. So for my play of the day in the NHL for Friday, March 5th, we're going to go with the St. Louis Blues minus 130 against the Los Angeles Kings. That's my Pub Sports Radio NHL play of the day for Friday, March 5th. I'm Ian Cameron. Thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow on Saturday for another Pub Sports Radio NHL play of the day.